deep breath, like however the spirit moves you. Gandhi once said, live as if you were to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever. This quote is inspirational to me because it teaches me to be open-minded and positive about living my life. It also tells me not to be afraid of trying to make it into a better life. Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra, but I prefer being called Alex. I'm 20 years old and I'm 20 years old and I'm born and raised in Santa Monica, California. This is my third year at SMC and I plan on transferring this fall. To begin, in order for you to get to know me better, I will describe my family, my career, and my past tense for traveling. To begin, I will describe my family for you to get to know me better. My family consists of my dad, David, who works at Skyline Home Loans as a mortgage lender. He has given me everything that I work hard for, and he tells me I can do anything as long as I work hard enough for it. My mom, Randy, is a stay-at-home mom, and we have similar personalities, therefore we work to we, therefore we spend a lot of quality time together. We talk openly and comfortably, and she gives me advice without judging. My younger sister, Samantha, is 19 years old, and she goes to SMC with me. Huh. We're 15 months apart, and we're complete opposites, although we're best friends. We fight about stupid things that last 10 minutes, and then the rest of it is just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of my parents went to college, therefore they want my sister and I to stay together. Next, I'll just Do you use the word therefore when you're talking with your friends? Okay. Think of it that way. It's more of a written term. So instead, what would you say instead of therefore? Also. Great. Okay. Also or so. That means that something in that in that same regard we could we could understand. And, and no worries if if you're tied to it. Yeah. But I don't think that you would honestly yeah, you typically should. Yeah. So yeah, say it instead <laughs> how you would how you'd say it. Okay. Let's go into the next one. Um, next, I'll describe my career for you all to. My major is business marketing. In the last two summers, I worked at in the last two summers, I worked at two internships. Icon West, which was a general contracting company, which I was an assistant of the company manager. I also went to UCLA to see them work on the dorms, and I worked with all the subcontractors. Another internship that I worked at was called Platinum Clean, which was a commercial and industrial material and services company. I did mostly administrative administrative duties, which were collecting documents from the employees, such as background checks, W-4s, and I-9s. I helped expand my resume and become a CEO of a business marketing company. Okay. Finally, I'll describe my enjoyment of traveling around the world for you to get to know me better. Okay, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Turn that paper over. I don't care how many ums or us or likes you say. Tell us about travel, and who cares if it's right, who says, who cares if you say it right. Talk to us like I was, Alex, you know what I think I like is to travel. Do you like to travel? Would you like to travel someday? And talk to us like that. Okay, so every year, or like, yeah, every year, like during the summer, my family and we go to a different country, and I've been to five continents, including North America, South America. Asia, Australia, and Europe. I hope Stephen Paul went there. My favorite was Thailand because we got to ride with the we got to ride on one of the elephants, and then we went to like the, all the temples and took the pictures with the temples. It was super cool. <laughs> and then also, I liked hiking a lot. And then, um, oh, I like learning about the like their religion. And then also I've been to Peru, which is really weird because they gave like you would see them have like guinea pigs on sticks with like food and stuff. It's like so dumb. So I didn't care. Because I was gross. <laughs> and then also I've been to oh I saw a llama. I ate alfalfa the other day and I was so happy because it got just like chicken. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> and then um oh I really like instead of mine, and you learn a lot of stuff that you wouldn't learn through books, and then, oh, to, 
and he, he, so let's go back. When you do learn about other people's cultures, mm -hmm. the fun part is they get to describe why they maybe eat things like yeah. guinea pigs or when they, okay, it's like normal, it's for them, right? So if they came here and saw that you had a guinea pig, Okay, well, but they would, oh, and you had a guinea pig in your room, what would they think about that experience? Ah, okay, good. So when we use that word weird, it makes it seem like it's awkward or that it's not normal or that it's not right. Yeah. When in fact it's simply different. It's a different way of living, right? So think about the use of that word weird and instead try to replace it with that idea of, which is different, yeah, oh, yeah, it, it could be different, it's simply a different way of doing things, and, and that's the fun part, right, <laughs> seeing all those differences of things, but good. You can flip that back over, thank you for playing around with that. Did you, and were you able to do it? Yeah. Yeah, right? I like to try to listen. Well, that's what we're looking for, Alex, so you are right on track then. If you like that, then you're on, on your way. All right, bring us on with your conclusion. In conclusion, I talked about my family, my career, and my passion for traveling for you all and being supported by it. Um, also, I want you all to remember to live your life and to not be afraid of time.